everybody, welcome to my channel, Singing with Lauren. My name's Lauren, I'm a singer and a voice teacher. And today I'm going to be reacting to Leah Salonga with a song de Torres, and they're going to be singing a medley from Matilda the Musical. If you are a singer and you've been looking for a community of singers and also a place to get some vocal tips and voice lesson tips from me, I want you to join our free Facebook group. It's called The Singing Tribe and we have over 400 singers in there of all levels. Just click the link in the description and answer a couple questions and then we'll let you into the group. Can't wait to see you there. Hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and let's listen to these two beauties. Wow, she's now 12. I think when she filmed this, she was about 11. So very impressive voice. Um, I think that she obviously has been like heavily, heavily coached and um, vocally trained, but I think that that's good. She's not um, trying to sound like an opera singer or um, much older than she is, right? She is really using more more of a speaking voice um, while she's singing, which is what we want, right? We want to be as close to our speaking voice as possible. Um, I do wish I would have been able to hear her speak before listening to this. Um, oversight on my part because I love hearing what kids sound like when they're speaking versus what they sound like when they're singing to get um, a more accurate opinion on how heavily they're kind of like doctoring their voice. Um, especially because, you know, um, we do have to be very delicate with kids' voices. We don't want them to be shouting or screaming um, and that kind of thing, but we do want to allow them to sing, to express themselves, and if they have um, a lot of enjoyment and talent of singing, we want them to be able to express it like this. So let's keep listening. Like silence, but not really silent. Just that still sort of quiet Like the sound of a page being turned in a book Or a pause with a walk in the woods Silent 
Oh my god, well, she is so cute. Um, so, whew, I love this song. I've never heard it before. I don't think I've ever seen Matilda the Musical. So, the couple things that I'm the most impressed about. One is that there are so many pauses and rests, and when you're singing with an orchestra, you gotta be there, right? You can't really like do your own thing. You're with the conductor. And even if you're leading, you know, it's, it's very a it is a very vulnerable experience to sing solo with an orchestra because even though the orchestra is so loud, it's like you are the only singer, right? So everyone is looking at you, wondering about you, <laughs> like you have to come in at the right time. And so that's something I'm very impressed with her about. Two is how well she stays in the game even when she's not singing, right? So most kids, if they're not singing, they have a hard time sticking in the in the story, right? You can see when even when she's not singing, her mind is still telling her the story, right? So she's not going dead faced or wondering, okay, when am I going to come in? Come in next? She's she's not counting. She just knows the song so well that she's able to come in right at the right time, and during those rests, she is still maintaining her character. Now, additionally, she, of course, she has a beautiful, beautiful voice and beautiful sound. She is very healthily singing, though. I do wanna say that. Nothing drives me more crazy than having people say, hey, listen to this blank child singer, and then I listen to them, and they're like singing repertoire that they shouldn't be singing. They're singing, trying to sound like an opera singer. They're um, like, People are having them like belt crazy stuff. Um, that is not the way we want to treat children's voices. We want to be so careful with their voices. Okay, so this is this is perfect. Singing musical theater songs that are written for children, good repertoire. Okay, I just want to be very clear about that. Okay, so it looks like they're about to do their duet. Let's keep going. So 
Sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. Just because you find that love's not fair, doesn't mean that you just have to bring out a berry. If you always take it on the chin and wear it, nothing will change. So Lisa Longa, oh, bow down. Seriously, bow down. She has always, always been top of my list of singers, especially musical theater singers. I mean, I don't really know how you could get much better than her. She is so talented. She can do so many different things with her voice. She can make herself sound younger, older. Um, she is amazing at accents as well. And like she's singing in a British accent here and also sounding, um, doing a little bit more of that like Disney, um, more like of that princey sound, which isn't bad. It's just how she's singing in this, but she doesn't sing like that all the time. You know, that's why I'm, that's why I'm saying that she really has a very, very versatile use of her sound. And how cute are they together on stage? I mean, come on. You cannot help but smile while you're watching them do their choreography and be in the presence of one another. And they obviously really like each other too. So let's keep, let's keep this party going. That was pure magic. So cute, so fun, such great singing. Um, I mean, and I just love that it's live, right? So we, that we really get to hear the qualities and the colors of both of their voices. <laughs> and it just goes to show how big of a difference it makes when you have amazing stage presence, when you really enjoy the song that you're singing and you're able to convey that to your audience and you're really able to stay in your character throughout an entire performance. World of difference. Amazing, amazing. Thank you for recommending this to me. And <laughs> if you liked this reaction, definitely hit subscribe, give it a thumbs up. It's the best way to support my channel. I really appreciate it. Also, hit me up in the comments. What was your favorite part of the performance? I would love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for being here and I'll talk to you soon.